Hi, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to solve transportation problem. Transportation problem is extremely and simple method. The transportation problem can be solved by obtaining initial basic feasible solution or by optimal solution or optimization. But in order to reach to an optimal solution, first of all, we should have identified initial basic feasible solution or otherwise it is known as IBFS. Only then we can go for optimal solution. To obtain IBFS, we have gotten three different methods. The first method is NWC, second one least cost method, and the third one Vogel's approximation method. In this specific video, I will be walking you through Northwest Corner Rule. Let's get it started. Northwest Corner Rule is extremely simple. If you don't get it, follow the direction that we have. North, South, East, and West. So within a specific table, always you are going to start from the region of Northwest and then move on to proceed with the rest of the other allocations that you have in. We are given with a numerical which talks about obtain the initial basic feasible solution for a transportation problem where we are given with the cost and the rim requirement in the below table. Any transportation problem that you talk about, always we are interested in minimizing the cost. And any transportation problem that you look into it, we are given with the source. Here we have gotten three different factories A, B, C. And accordingly, we are given with the requirement also in terms of we have destination E, F, and then G accordingly. For every destination that you are going to talk about, you will have a demand from the destination coming from. And every source that you have gotten, you can supply it from the source. These are all about source. And from every source, we can go ahead and supply. So wherever you may have gotten a destination and a source, at the interaction point, you could see what will be the cost of it. Not all the time we will be able to supply the required quantity because in any transportation problem, away from minimizing, you need to check in. Is it a balanced transportation problem? In a balanced transportation problem, the demand will be equivalent to supply. Now check into it, 160 plus 150 plus 190 will give us 500. Similarly, when you check in 80 plus 90 plus 110 plus 120, these four put together will give us 500. So where you could see that the demand is also 500 and the supply is also 500. This is a balanced transportation problem. Let's go ahead and solve this. I have taken the table where we have gotten three sources and then we have gotten four destination. Accordingly, we have already seen the capacity is also 500 and the requirement is also 500. From this, we are going to start allocation. For us, the northwest corner rule starts at this particular junction. This particular cell, look at the requirement and look at the capacity. Whichever is minimum, that we will go ahead and allocate. Here, we have gotten a capacity of 160. So the source one can supply 160 units, but whereas the demand is only 80. Accordingly, wherever we have gotten the minimum value here, 160, and then we have gotten 80, the minimum is 80. We will go ahead and allocate the minimum value, 80 we have allocated, which means this requirement is done to zero. And from the capacity 160, already we have allocated 80 units, the remaining capacity is 80. So once you have allocated the required units, if the requirement is finished, go ahead and cancel it off. Let's move on to the second modified table. Now check in, already we have exhausted the D1 source 80 because this is the northwest over here. Between this, between 90 is the requirement and capacity is 80. Though you have got a requirement of 90, but from this particular plant, source one, we will be able to fulfill only 80. This is minimum. So allocate minimum over here. So which means this has become zero and here 90 minus 80, we will have 10 over here. So which means the requirement of source one is finished. Now that we have finished source one, let's go ahead Move on to the third one. We have already exhausted destination one and source one. We are left with D2, D3, D4, 
and then we are left with source 2 and source 3. For D2, the requirement is 10 and the capacity is 150. Allocate the minimum over here, 10 is the minimum, which means the destination 2 is also there and here it becomes 140. This particular destination is there. Move on to the next one. So now you could see that. So D1 and D2 is also that we are left with D3, D4. And between this, find out 110 and 140, which is the minimum over here. We have gotten 110 as the minimum. This had become already zero. Destination 3 is also fulfilled. The requirement is fulfilled. And the capacity becomes 140 minus 110 will give us a value of 30. So already this had become 30 now. We are left with D4 only. Within D4, you could see that we have got a 220 is our requirement, which can be supplied from source 2 as well as source 3. Now, between 220 and 30, find out which is the minimum. 30 is the minimum allocated over here. So, which means this had already become 0. And from the destination, the requirement had come to 190. Move on to the next one. We are left with only destination D4 and source 3, wherein the requirement is 190 and the capacity is also 190. Always please be assured in a balanced transportation problem, you will have at the end all your requirement and the capacity will become zero over here. You don't have to follow these steps in the examination for your better understanding. I have shown you the logic. You can finish this up in a single table. Let me show you. Now start from D1. This is the Northwest corner rule between the requirement and the capacity, which is minimum requirement, give 80 over here. The requirement had become zero. Destination one the requirement is finished and our capacity becomes 80. Now move on to the next one. The Northwest is at this particular juncture between 90 and 80, which is the minimum. 80 is the minimum. Allocate 80 over here. Our capacity had become zero. Our requirement was 90 and we could fulfill 80 over here. So we are left with 10. The source one is also finished. Move on to the next one. Between 10 and 150, which is the minimum, 10 is the minimum. So the requirement is done. 80 plus 10, already 90, we have finished it. So strike it out. We cannot allocate anything. This 150 becomes 140. Between 110 and 140, 110 is the minimum allocated. So the requirement had become zero, 140 becomes 30. So the D3 is also done. We are left with the D4 between 220 and 30, which is the minimum. 30 is the minimum allocated. 120 becomes 190. Between 190 and 190, we are left with only one cell. Since it is equal, you allocate it. This becomes zero and this also becomes zero. All our allocation is done. Let's go ahead and calculate the transportation. Whether you go ahead row wise or you go ahead column wise, the allocation that you have done should be equivalent to the capacity and should be equivalent to the requirement. Here, look at column wise. The requirement was 80 and we have done the allocation of 80. And here the requirement was 90. 80 plus 10, we have done with 90 over here. The requirement was 110, which we have fulfilled. And here it was 20, 190 plus 30, 220. In the same way, go ahead row wise. The capacity was 160, 80 and 80, 160 capacity is done. Here the capacity is 150, 10 plus 110. Put together 120 plus 30, 150. Then move on to the third one, 190. We could allocate it to 190. If you want to check in the room requirement also, you can check it. M plus N minus 1. Now look into it. M always denotes the rows over here. Three rows plus N denotes the column. Four destinations are here. Minus 1. So 7 minus 1 will give you 6. Which means 6 cell allocation should have happened. First cell, second cell, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the requirement is also done. Go ahead and calculate the cost. So 42 into 80 
plus 48 into 80. The third one, 49 into 10, plus the fourth one, 52 into 110, plus the fifth one, 51 into 30, plus the last one, 43 into 190. Pause this video and complete this calculation. 42 into 80 will give you 3360 plus 48 into 80 will give you 3840 plus 42 into 90 will give you 490 plus 52 into 110 will give you 5750 plus 51 into 30 will give you 1530 plus 43 into 190 will give you 8190. When you sum up all this, you will have 23160. So the transportation cost using the Northwest Corner Rule for this particular method is 23160. I'm sure you were able to follow the concepts. Should you have any doubts, please post it in the comment box. I'm happy to answer it. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Karpakam signing off. See you in the next video. Good day.